uh, a commitment to investigate and pursue alternative barge routes, routes which I believe is, is necessary for the future of the island. A commitment to investigate the SNDI ferries and the transit system. I have spoken to the Transport Minister's Office and they have assured me this is a priority for them as I'm sure it is for the people of the island. And may I say in closing about the transport costs, I truly believe that they are too high and need urgent attention. Not down the track, urgent attention. The alternative barge routes must become a reality to enable the island to keep expanding. This is something that should be done regardless of which government is in power and no one, everyone's got to stop making the excuses. I don't agree with the multi-storey car park being erected on or near Wynum Creek or the park and ride facility that the LNP are pushing for as a long-term solution to the problem. <laughs> These options will just, just make things more difficult for the people on the island. The best solution, I believe, is cheaper and better access to the islands and hopefully that would relieve the parking problems at Wynum Creek. solve the problem by just investigating opportunities for joint venture and investigate options for alternative boundaries uh, and advocate for integration of passenger services. I fully commit to those, but I, I think that the, the problem is far wider. With more population on the islands, there's going to be more traffic. Having to transgress and move on to uh, already overburden road networks. And there's no easy solution. Every time we widen the road, what happens? The road becomes more congested. So it, it's solving this problem. We've actually got to look at the mainland as well. And I think the problem with the islands is no different to people who live in outlying suburbs. The outlying suburbs, the price of property is a lot less, but your, your actual running costs are the, that much higher because you tend to have to commute long distances. You might have to run two cars instead of one. And then that's an issue on the island. We get many people have a car on the island and a car on the mainland. That, that seems to be uh, bizarre if, if you think about it. That, that, that's a, a non-sustainable solution. I don't think that you can just look at one issue. I certainly think we're going to alternative barge routes, uh, both north uh, and south, uh, to, you know, to Jacob's Wells. A good idea. There's, there's a lot of be said for that. But the problem is, you've got to think of the impact of the other side, particularly at Victoria Point. But I don't think that putting a car park, uh, multi-storey in nature, is necessarily the way to go. I think you need a far broader study to look at all of the issues that affect the islands, that affect the mainland. Thank you. Thank you. On the uh, question of transit rollout, I have been a thousand percent advocate since the day I walked in there. You only have to look at the Hansard record to see that I have been successful in bringing this government to heal and to actually start to follow through on a commitment they had made a long time ago. Now, the Minister's office, and I, I respect that Peter's uh, you know, been in touch with them, when I got in touch with the Minister's office, all they were able to do was make up numbers and tell porkies in Parliament. They assured me that the cost of Transland rollout was between 15 and 18 million dollars per annum. Can I assure you it is nowhere near that number? And the report, finally, which is due mid-2012 by Trans uh, QT, Queensland Transport, will give us the answers that we're looking for and it will finally point the way to how we roll out Translink. Not if we do, but how we do it. And so I've been looking that all along. Uh, the investigation for uh, opportunities at Wynum Creek, I think there are some tremendous opportunities at Wynum Creek. When I see Wynum Creek and then I draw comparisons with places like Pay Alba up at Harvey Bay, and I look at ports like uh, Mackay and then Marina Precincts, and I look at places up in Townsville and Cairns, I see where those foreshores actually are pristine places that are great to live at, great to visit, and great to travel through. But in Redlands, or, or more broadly, Redland City, where we've got Tunda Harbour in the north and we've got Wynum Creek in the south, honestly, they're like third world countries. There's been 20 years of Labor government and 20 years of neglect for people right across this community. And uh, so we need to address that. Whether parking 
with a, a multi-storey car park or whether it's a broader car park is realised in the fullness of time. I'm not sure. But can I assure you, Peter, it's not only peak position to build an L a three-storey car park at Wynum Creek. I just need to, to scotch that straight off. Going down to the third point, and the, probably the most important point in, in, in this route, is the, uh, the short barge route. Can I be brutally honest with you? I don't dismiss it, but can I tell you, if they gave me, if the government gave me, be it LNP or Labor and government, if they offered me $25 million or $20 million, which is the cost of the infrastructure at the southern end, I can think of so many better ways to invest that, that it benefits and advantages everyone, not only in this room, but in the room in McLeod Island later on today, and the people on Carra, the people on Lamb, and the people on Karuba. It will benefit the whole island. It's better infrastructure at Wynum Creek. It'd be something like subsidising or managing a better barge business. It's all of those things put together. It's investigating that in the longer term. There's no doubt about that. You can't just dismiss it out of hand. But yes, we need to actually bring the state to the table and we need to work on what is the long-term plan. The short barge route is a band-aid for two islands, I believe, and a very expensive band-aid. It's $6 million on McLean. It's 20-odd million here and it only resolves part of the problem. It's not going to improve your life. What will improve your life is a good, you know, a, a addressing of the cost of living pressures right across the board, and that's what I'm